Welcome to Lesson 1, Solving Linear Inequalities, Part 1. Here we will solve linear equalities by using addition and subtraction. And we're given the inequality 6 is less than 10. And we're asked to add 3 to each side. So we have 6 plus 3 is less than 10 plus 3. Now simplifying that, I get 9 is less than 13. In the second part, we have to subtract 4 from each side. So 6 take away 4 is less than 10 take away 4, which becomes 2 is less than 6. And for the third part, we have to add negative 12 to both sides. Now simplifying that, I get negative 6 is less than negative 2. Now we need to determine if each inequality is still true. Did adding or subtracting positive negative numbers affect the inequality? Well, in part 1, we added 3 to each side, and we ended up with 9 is less than 13. Now 9 is still less than 13, so that's true. Part 2, we had 2 is less than 6, that is true. And in part 3, negative 6 is less than negative 2. So adding or subtracting a positive negative number did not affect the inequality. So that leads us to the property of inequalities, which states that adding or subtracting a number to each side of an inequality still makes the inequality true, just like an equation. Now how do we solve inequalities using addition and subtraction? Well, we just perform the opposite operation, or the inverse operation. Again, just like equations. Now in example one, we have to solve and then graph each inequality. So we have r plus 6 is less than 2. So to get rid of that plus 6, we'll subtract 6 from both sides. And we end up with r being less than negative 4. Now to graph that, we'll put a hollow circle around negative 4, since negative 4 is not actually included in the solution, and we're going to shade everything to the left of that. Part B, we have negative 7 plus t is greater or equal to 8. In this case, we're going to add 7 to both sides. So they cancel here, and we get t is greater or equal to 15. Now because it's equal to, we'll put a solid circle here, around 15, and we'll shade everything to the right of that. Now for this last one, we have 8 is greater than x minus 3. So we're going to start by adding 3 to both sides. And we get 11 is greater than x. So 11 is bigger than all of the x values. You can think of it that way. Or you can switch it so that the x is on the left. When we switch, we have to switch the inequality sign as well. So we end up with x is less than 11. So now I'll put a hollow circle here in between 10 and 12 and shade everything to the left of that. 